Now I have a frequency distribution, and it tells me from the original column, there were six occurrences where video one was listed, four when video two was listed. But if you're given a frequency distribution like this, and you want to convert it back into the original column, and we want to do it with a formula, that's what we're going to see in this video. Now this cool formula we're going to see comes from our teammate at YouTube, Excel Lambda. And we're going to start off the formula with sequence. And I'm going to skip over rows and start with columns. I want a sequence of numbers across the columns that's exactly equal to the max frequency. So we'll put max into the columns argument of sequence. When I hit Enter, I get an array of 1 to 6. Now if I ask a logical question of the number 6, how many of you here are less than or equal to 6, I would get 6 trues. But if I ask the same question, hey, how many of you are less than or equal to 4, well, I'd get 4 trues and 2 falses. So that's what we're going to do for each row, F2 at the top. How many of you are less than or equal to? And notice we're highlighting a column of values, which is actually 6 rows. And it's being compared against a sequence that's 6 columns. So when I hit Enter, this returns a rectangular range 6 by 6. And look at that, 6 trues. If we could just fill those trues with video 1, bam, we'd have video 1. If we could fill these 4 trues with video 2, we'd have our video 2s. So up at the top, F2. We're going to use that rectangular range of trues and falses right inside the if function. The logical test, well, there's all the trues and falses. Comma, the value of true, well, please give me all of these. Comma, and the value of false, we're going to put in the NA function so we get NAs instead of false values. So close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, that is a thing of beauty. It's not quite a column yet, but in the top cell, F2, and we're going to use an amazing new function that's in beta right now, to call. There's the array, comma, and we're going to use the second argument, ignore. Notice there's one for errors and one for errors and blanks. Either one will work. I'm going to use two, close parentheses, and bam, there it is from a frequency distribution back into the original column. Now before we had dynamic spilled arrays, there was an old school way to do it. But really, the way we did it was with Power Query. And I'm not going to show you in this video, but you can download this file and check it out. Maybe we'll do that another video. All right, thanks to Excel Lambda for this cool formula. We'll see you next video.